Hello, welcome to Bespoken. My name's Paul Anthony, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the SD DuPont Defy Extreme Cigar Lighter. So, uh, first things being first, this is actually one of my favorite lighters, and I've brought it out here on the dock where I live uh, on a chilly afternoon here in Orlando, Florida, because we have about 15 mile consistent winds and 25 mile per hour gust. This lighter is pitched at being obviously extreme, so it's meant to handle different weather conditions from windy conditions, very cold conditions, warm conditions, as well as high altitude. Uh, I can definitely attest to being, it being a good lighter at high altitude as I used it successfully in Bogota, Colombia last year at 2700 meters, when the several of the other lighters I took uh, didn't work. As for being able to uh, work in windy conditions like this, uh, you'll see a video here of me lighting the cigar initially. As you can see, it works pretty well against uh, the wind that we have out here at the moment. Um, so what do you get for your $260 of uh, retail value? You get a single flame with a, a jet cover, you get an attractive fuel gauge, as well as pretty slick styling. So. With that being said, what are the pros of this lighter? Well, as I've said, it's got a nice precise flame. It works at altitude. Uh, I did have one of these actually break down on me um, in the UK and the support at Davidoff London was fantastic. However, there are a few cons I do not like about this lighter. One being that the fuel uh, reservoir never seems to fully fill, even if I bleed the lighter correctly. Um, as time's gone on, I've actually owned a couple of these lighters. If I've lost them or they've broken and been replaced, etc. as happens with these day-to-day -day use items, uh, they're made in China, which obviously isn't inherently a bad thing, but I do feel that ST DuPont has actually cut some corners with the quality of materials that have been used for this lighter, such as the plastic housing has become uh, less and less um, kind of luxury from this luxury brand, and I feel like you know, what can it honestly cost a few cents to kind of upgrade uh, a piece like this? Uh, one of the other things I do not like about the lighter as well is that the, uh, the fuel gauge on the bottom uh, has, has a very small amount of travel and it can be hard to kind of uh, adjust the flame. And um, I have noticed that when I actually an SD DuPont uh, lighter I had broke here within the US and I sent it up to the, the New York service center uh, it's basically being a black hole and it's been there for over a year. So depending on where you buy these lighters, uh, whether it's the US, the UK or Europe, you may have a different experience with regards to the support system. So with all of that being said, um, you know, I do believe that this is a, a great value for money lighter. I've owned several of them. Um, but as I say, just know uh, the pros and cons before you, you maybe end up buying them. So. If you see the description below, I'm actually going to be comparing uh, this lighter to the SD DuPont Defy X Extreme, which is the newer version, as well as an individual review on that lighter. If you like this review, please um, click the like button on the video and subscribe to our channel for much more cigar content and men's lifestyle uh, general content as well. With all of that being said, my name is Paul Anthony, and I'll see you on the next video.